option we are going to talk about is called this email is a normal text email right but when you want to send a good email notifications you want to send up something with the better html format or something like that okay in that you want to pass it on some variables okay so that is where we are going to use a email templates for this okay so if you go to your github there will be a email hyphen template dot uh, sorry html dot template so this is a well formatted email let's see how this email is going to work like okay here let me explain so this is the style of my uh, this is the html style for my email okay and in that i am going to write some of the custom variables okay there are two variables i am defining here one is called name and another one is called the cest okay this is nothing but the uh, i will just print my time zone here okay and there i am going to form the build result okay so when the build result is completed i want this to be used okay and like that when the build result is other thing i'm going to have something like this okay so this is a sample html template which has been written okay and in that it is going to attach the artifact and all those stuffs okay so it will have a link for that okay and then it will have the maven artifact and all those things it will be there and for j unit test results also i'm just doing that so let's see how this sir so we will use this using this template let's publish the result for the declarative pipeline okay so this file is already in the repo okay we will use this template to send the email notification so let's take the declarative pipeline and then we will use this file so let's see how do i do that let me take my declarative pipeline job and then this is here so let's directly write it here to so then this file is here okay so first let me update the the book url i mean it update that because i'm going to change that so let's go to the github settings update the web hook url to the latest one this is the new ip update it update my today's ip in the web book url the book and then in the jenkins file let me edit this so i can write a another stage i can write another stage so this is where i can write stage yeah let me write another stage stage and let me call it as steps and this uses the scripted method so i'm just going to call the scripted method i have two variables right let me populate values for that variables so first let me write a value for the cest so let me use time zone dot get time zone 
I'm just writing the value and let me define the so this is scripted i need to define the variable so define assist is equal to no date date F C this is where I'm defining my mail recipients. Define the job name. Job name is equal to current dot full display name. Let me define the Let me define the environment variable from name equal to Jenkins and dot CBST equal to let me get this variable says so name I'm just naming it as Jenkins and let me use the email D so that so I'm going to use the variable inside that. So I'm going, I'm giving three hyphens. C R I P T comma. Template equal to email hyphen html the file i'm going to refer email hyphen html dot template close this with three hyphens comma become the next line i'm I'm type text slash HTML check ins dollar job name. I have defined a job name variable let me use that here to dollar I can also define my reply to template. Reply to the same mail recipient. And then let me close the key. This the bracket. So I'm defining a stage called email. There I'm defining two variables. And then I'm using that. I'm telling that you should use this template. And inside that, I'm using this variables. So let me commit and see what is happening. So this should have been started now. 
14. So let's see what 14 is starting. Script template equal to email iPhone HTML dot template. Text slash HTML or subject. Let us call the subject. Let me see. Subject. So let me commit it and see. I'm missing a colon in the body. It's working fine. So this is the first job. Declarative is still running. So I may get an error while pushing it. Is it still pointing to the windows? Yeah, it is still pointing to the vacant windows. Let's say vacant any. I haven't changed this. It should be shell. Let me command this. I'm just pointing to Windows. Let's save this. And I should also do one more change. I need to update the latest IP where it is pushing that, right? Jenkins configure system. Before fixing this, let me just go back and change the IP address of the target. So it should be a new IP address. Let me just update this. Save. Where it is complaining about full display name. Oh, display spelling mistake. No matter. 
minus y square to square minus minus So a couple of emails just from the other job, which you create a good deal. And there will be other job logs, emails, to find Get variable no such property Jenkins for class. Which one it is missing? We just check that once. Correct. So we can say time zone dot get time zone includes. Minus two, that minus two is equal to no date. Okay. Now I need to print and just just a moment. Let's check that. Right two. Right two. A single line, I can just check that. Oh, let me just check is there any plugin missing for this? Value for the name, that is the reason. Oh, it's my bad. So let me do one thing. Let me include a name variable. Okay, this is my value. This project is parameterized and parameter, string parameter, and name default value is test. Let me use this. I don't have a value for the name variable, that is the reason. Search it in the wrong place. Yeah. This is my bad. You can see. So this is expected. So basically, I should have a variable called name. I should have set up a value for that. Okay. 
I haven't set up the value for it. That is the reason it was complaining saying that no value for the name variable. Okay. When I run this, I'm getting an error saying that there is a exception rise during template rendering failed to parse the template. Okay. The reason is there are some advanced options or some functions has been used, which is not yet approved. If you go to your manage Jenkins, and if you see that there will be one script pending approval. Okay. So till now you wouldn't have seen any value for that. So if you select that, so it's saying it is asking you to approve this template, the template, whatever if I have given, it is going asking me to approve it. If I approve that, now if I come back and rerun the job with this parameter, this time I should get a proper email. So it was complaining about my name variable. Now, if I check that, I should get a proper HTML formatted. So if you see that, the same build is completed. This is the URL and this is the project name, date, and in the app name, it is printing that. And it is printing the current time. And it is going to highlight about the changes and the build artifact URL and the test result it is printing. So this is how you can format it with the exam uh, HTML template and you can use it. So this is the Jenkins file where I am referring this template. Change your mail ID there and then and in the job Define a variable called string parameter called name and put some value. That value is getting printed there. And once it is done, you will get an email with the error. Then go to your in process script approval. You have to approve this template to be used within the Jenkins. So this is how I can send an email with the customized HTML template rather than the default one.